voulu euh, vous présenter dans le présent de l'amour pour le café. C'est quelqu'un qui a passé pendant trois ans le, des championnats de barista, ceux qui travaillent dans le café. Euh, voilà. Et pendant huit ans, en fait, il a travaillé dans le café, donc dans l'import, l'export du café, dans la préparation du café. Donc il connaît tout le process euh, de préparation du café. Il a bien voulu vous faire cette pré petite présentation aujourd'hui, plus une dégustation pour voir les différentes graines, les différents types d'arômes de café. Donc, euh, c'est ça, son deuxième boulot, c'est pas son premier, parce qu'en fait, il travaille en microfinance normalement, mais euh, il a un amour pour le café. Donc, je laisse faire, je laisse présenter, enfin, et après, la présentation sera en anglais. Merci beaucoup pour écouter l'introduction. Et, oui, je vais faire ça en anglais. And sometimes maybe a bit Arabic, Mazizia, but not in French. So you wouldn't understand me when I was talking French because my French is too bad. But if there's something not clear, just feel free to ask me. <coughs> All right? Good. Um, yes, today we talk about coffee. I'm really, really happy to talk about something which is maybe for the, most of us a normal thing. So who doesn't drink coffee? Who doesn't drink coffee? Everyone. Okay. So maybe we can convince you after one hour. But um, I guess for most of for most of all, it's a normal thing, you know. So drinking coffee every morning, well, this is normal. But the th the, my question is: so what is normal in drinking coffee? Or what is the value of normal? So maybe for some of us, value in, in drinking coffee is, you know drinking caffeine in the morning and waiting until caffeine kicks in and then you awake. And then you do this once again during your day. But for others, the value of coffee is something like a luxury product. So they they respect everything, you know, they like the bean, they like they like l'odeur and everything. And let's call these people the connoisseur. And then some others, for them, value is um, it's their life. So it's their livelihood, the resource de la vie. So um, they live with coffee, they live from coffee, and um, they live from the work with coffee. So these are the farmers, the producers of coffee. And um, the questions for today is, what do these people do that what we can taste at the end? So what do farmers do and what happens in between to this value chain of the Shannon Brothers? Qu'est-ce qui se passe until we can drink a cup of coffee? And how, why does it taste like this? So what happened in this whole chain that this coffee tastes like this we drink every morning? So this is the, the second, the, the first part, what coffee is like. I give you a lot of information then. The second part, what coffee can be like. This is what we do, this is what Anissa said. We're going to cup different kinds of coffees. So I have two coffees here. Um, they are really, really different. So Really, really different. It's like black and white, or it's like Amadiyat and Nisan Tafani, and it's uh, they're really different, and you will you will notice it instantly. So we're going to we're going to do this after that in a professional cupping. So as we do it normally when we do classify cup. Mm -hmm. But um, first, I have to give you a lot of information. So um. Oh, oh. So first thing to know, um, where does coffee come from? Um, there is something called a coffee soul. And uh, it's, in the, it's on the southern hemisphere. And just there because coffee is a really, really sensitive plant. So like, you know this tree, the mimosa, it's a very sensitive plant. And it needs a lot of care. And um, here in the southern hemisphere, you know, it's not too hot, but it's hot. It's not too humid, but it's humid. It's not too cold, but it's cold. So every condition is perfect. The coffee can grow. And as you can see, Brazil is the biggest producer of coffee. And there's some other countries, like in Latin and South America, in, in East and West Africa. Indonesia is a really big producer. And even in Vietnam, you can find some coffee producing countries. But, so every coffee, it has its own special characteristics in taste according to the place where coffee does come from. So, coffee from Brazil. The taste of coffee from Brazil is, is a adi. It's, um, it's coffee, more or less. So, it's nothing.